What's up, people? This is the Nature Girl 30 here, and I am coming to you on a very cool night. Um, I already started my top 10 um, wrestlers of all time in WWE a little while ago, and I actually stopped at number 8. I was going to do something a little bit flashy, you know, have some videos up there, a little bit of audio commentary, but with the whole SOPA thing that is on the TV right now, the last thing I need to be is, is a blacklisted if anything actually does happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, so this is going to be part 2 of my top 10 list. I'm going to start at 7 and end at 4, and then I'm going to probably give you my top 3 after Raw tomorrow night. Well, anyway, moving on to number 7. Whether you love the guy, whether you want to admit you hate the guy, or whether you not want to admit that you love the guy, whatever, you're going to remember who this guy is. And I am talking about John Cena. He is my number seven on this list. And the reason why he is, is because the guy is memorable. Whether or not you want to hate on him because he has a huge kid fan base, or whether or not you hate on him because he's the prince of the PG era, regardless, this guy is remembered from his... Three moves of doom, whatever it is, from his five knuckle shuffle to his FU slash attitude adjustment to his you can't see me to his fruity pebble t shirts to everything written on those t shirts to his loyal hustle, loyal hustle and respect, loyalty, hustle and respect, whatever it is, his mantra, you remember it. His grandmama, his grandmama's mama, your grandmama's mama, everybody knows who John Cena is. And besides the fact that his moves are really slow, he's sluggish, he's one-dimensional, yeah, that's the reason why he's number seven. But all in all, you remember who this guy is. And he is going to forever be remembered even when he leaves the WWE. So you can't hate on that. Moving on to number six. When I say that this man is the most electrifying man of all time, the most electrifying man of all time, the only person, the only person that I am talking about right now is The Rock. Now, yes, you are shocked that The, the Rock is actually number six. I mean, yeah, I mean, you would think that he would be higher on this list, but I got a reason for that, and I'm going to talk about that later. But anyway, The Rock is the reason why SmackDown was named SmackDown. The Rock is also the main reason why WWE Films came to be, even though WWE Films is pretty much a land of suck right now. But The Rock has definitely brought in tons and tons of fans. The most electrifying man in all sports entertainment. That is one thing for sure. Not to mention the fact that the guy can go on a seven-year hiatus and then come back. With people cheering for him. People remembering everything about him. Remembering his moves. Remembering everything he says. His catchphrases. Everything. That is a superstar right there. And his moves were on fire in the ring. My gosh. I have never seen a man move that fast. Ever in my life. And you would think that when he came back after seven years. The guy would have ring rust. Uh uh. No way man. Everybody knows the people's elbow. Everybody waits for him to throw his... His armband ran out, out in, the, in, the, in the crowd. People wait for the rock bottom. People wait for his sharpshooters. People wait for the rock to make his move. That is a true star right there. Moving on to number five. When you hear the sound of glass breaking and you hear... That awesome, awesome, memorable guitar, hardcore riff that just comes out at you in the speakers when you see it live. You know who is going to be coming out. And I am talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was the prime reason why the Attitude Era was the success that it was. Yes, people give credit to DX. Yes, people give credit to the Monday Night Wars. But honestly, it has been boring and dull and it, it never fails when Stone Cold Steve Austin comes in the ring you know he is going to beat somebody down he is going to he's going to literally take his foot make a mud hole stomp it in them and walk it dry or how JR says it um stomp a mud hole in them and walk it dry that's pretty much what he did every single night not to mention the fact that he would literally you would literally be waiting 
waiting for him to do his Stone Cold Stunner. When he gets in that little stance, he will do his Stone Cold Stunner, and then that's it. Instant gone. Like, you're, you're, you're instantly put away. You're done. Put a fork in you, you're done. Like, seriously, Stone Cold Steve Austin was the prime reason that he that the Attitude Era was the true success that it was. Not to mention the fact that he is even more popular, in my opinion, than The Rock. If Stone Cold came back instead of The Rock, he would get more pops than The, than the Rock would ever get on his best day. He will forever be the most popular wrestler of all time. And that is the reason why Stone Cold is number five on this list. Now, I know number four, you guys may agree, you may disagree, whatever. This is my list, and this person is number four. Moving on. All right. I may get tons of flack for the decisions that I made for this list, but... You gotta be, I gotta be honest. Without this guy, there will absolutely be no cutting edge, no uh, uh, Carlitos Cabana, and no, um, I guess, that, that show that Jericho did. I mean, this guy was responsible for merging two genres on a pay per view. Not only two genres, two networks, two major networks at the time, for the most epic feud. Of all, or one of the most epic feuds of all time, and I'm talking about Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now, I know people be like, "What? What? Why is he uh, so high on this list?" The reason why is because Rowdy Roddy Piper, before that was a Stone Cold Steve Austin, before that was a Rock. This guy literally brought entertainment to your doorstep. Besides the fact that he was, you know, he was a wrestler. He was also started off as being a manager to Mr. Wonderful, but moving on from there, I think it was probably maybe in the mid-80s that he really started up with Piper's Pit. And Piper's Pit was pretty much the moment of the night that pretty much started the Heartbreak Hotel when Shawn Michaels got uh, start separated from the Rockers. And then um, decades down the line, you know, you got the cutting edge. You got Carlitos Cabana. You got... Um, the the Jericho show, I forgot the Jericho's actual name, but either or, the thing is that Roddy Roddy Piper brought tons of entertainment to the WWE. His wrestling skills were, okay, his wrestling skills, he was definitely a classic brawler. That's one thing I can say about that. Roddy Roddy Piper was a classic brawler. When you see him fight, you knew he was going to bring the pain. And in my opinion, Roddy Roddy Piper wasn't entirely a villain. He was kind of on the borderline between villain and a face. I mean, honestly, he pretty much did whatever he wanted. And what, and what he saw fit was how it went. He was practically the Stone Cold Steve Austin of the 80s. So, honestly, that's why I really put him high on this list. His wrestling skills, yes, probably weren't as memorable, but his feuds were epic. Especially the feud that he had with... Uh, with uh, uh, Hulk Hogan and the fact that he had <laughs> punched Cindy Lauper in the face. Okay, he either punched her or kicked her. He, he literally beat the crap out of Cindy Lauper and then kicked the crap out of Lou Albana. Come on, man. That's that's something that like burns in your brain. So he's definitely going to be high on my list. And he pretty much tops the rock and Stone Cold and Steve Austin. Because without Roddy Roddy Piper, it will not be a Stone Cold and it will not be a rock. He pretty much was the beginning of of the sports entertainment franchise when Vince McMahon's father ran the whole thing at the time. So I wouldn't be surprised if Vince McMahon was inspired by that. Now, this is pretty much the end of part two right now. I will start off with my final three, um, and I'll probably uh, release it maybe after my next Raw review. But as of right now, this is the end of this list. This is Nature Girl 30 signing off, and like I said before, it's my list. If you don't agree... Leave a comment below. If you like it, hit like and leave a comment below anyway. Peace out, y'all. See you later.